the science guy. Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill, 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 Bill Nye, the science guy. Do you notice that the planets that are closer to the sun move about it much more quickly than those farther away? Gravity is the glue that holds our solar system together. Gravity pulls on the planets and keeps them in orbit, the same way this rope pulls on this ball. It actually takes Mercury, the planet closest to the sun, only 88 days to go completely around it. Now when planets are close to the sun, that's about as long as your summer vacation. They spin around faster than when they're farther away. Our Earth goes about the sun once each year. That's because even though they're going fast, they have a longer distance to go when their orbits are bigger. And the planet farthest away from the sun, Pluto, you with me? Naturally has the greatest distance to travel. You, you see what I'm saying? It makes the trip around the sun in about 248 years. You with me? Okay. Oh! All of the stars, including our sun, give off their own light. But a few of those bright spots in the sky are not stars. And they shine only because they reflect. They are called planet, planet. Hi, folks. Looney Worthington and Looney Worthington's Miles and Moons, ready to make you a deal that is out of this world on Moons, Moons, Moons. From the one that started it all, the one that causes the tides, the one that goes round and around the Earth, the moon. The moon looks like the biggest thing in the sky, doesn't it? No magnetic field, no signs of life, no water. Hey, this Not baby's this guy ready to again. Sell. Bill, Bill, Bill Nye, the science guy.